Hello everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to the Pop Culture Network channel. I'm your host Chris and I got my co-host Matt here. Welcome everybody. Uh, in our very first episode, we're going to try to explain the very complicated comic book history of Cable. To get you ready for the big screen debut in Deadpool 2 coming out this this Thursday. Josh Bolin uh, will be playing the character of Cable. Bolin just got done killing half the universe in Avengers Infinity War. Cable was created by comic book writer Rob Liefeld, the self-proclaimed Michael Jordan of comic books. Cable is the perfect character to be introduced in Deadpool 2 because Cable is a very serious character. He loves big guns and Deadpool works best when he has a serious character to bounce off of and endlessly pissing off. There has been multiple comic book series starring both characters with the longest one uh, called Cable and Deadpool which ran for 50 issues from 2004 to 2008. Alright, so Cable has one of the most complicated comic book origins, if not the most complicated. So please stay with me here. Cable's actual name is Nathan Summers and... If that last name sounds familiar to X-Men fans, it's because Cable is the son of Scott Summers, a.k.a. Cyclops, and the clone of Jean Grey named Madeline Pryor. Pryor was created by the villain Mr. Sinister, so here's where it starts to get weird. Cable's birth was actually a part of a grand plan by Mr. Sinister, who believed the child could take down the godlike villain Apocalypse. And when Apocalypse caught word of this, he wasn't too happy, so he kidnapped Baby Cable and infected him with a deadly techno-organic virus. The virus itself works by slowly turning its victim's flesh into, te into technology until he or she dies. That's why his entire left arm is bionic and, rocks, and he rocks a cybernetic eye. Anyways, back to this very complicated origin story. Facing death. It was decided that Baby Cable would be sent into the future to find a cure for the virus. Unfortunately, they couldn't find a virus, but luckily they should... Just in the nick of time, like always, Cable learned to use his mutant powers of telekinesis to keep the virus at bay, for the most part. But doing so, he can't use his full mutant powers or the uh, virus will take over and will kill him. As an adult, Cable travels through time fighting his clone named Shafe. Of course he has a clone of, a of himself that is a villain. If, he had, if his mother's a clone, then more likely he has a clone of himself trying to kill him. Anyways, his villains, his top three villains are Mr. Sinister, Apocalypse. Can't imagine why he would hate Apocalypse. And obviously his clone. Finally, Cable is the Original leader of x Force, which we will see a variation of in Deadpool 2. To summarize Cable, he is a guy who likes big guns, is always floating around through time, and has psychic powers. He is, And he is the son of Cyclops and a clone of Jean Grey. So simply to say, he is probably one of the most 90 characters in comic books. There's... Also, another character that more likely will make an appearance in Deadpool 2 that we really want to talk about. Don't you know who I am? I'm the Juggernaut, bitch! Second thought, maybe forget about him. Please, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share this video with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you can be one of the first people to watch our new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Also follow us on Twitter and Instagram, like us on Facebook, and until next time, I hope you have a good day. Peace. I don't know why I said peace.